In the thoughtful teachings of Louise Hay on forgiveness, a transformative perspective unfolds, one that transcends the confines of bitterness and resentment. In the realm of self-liberation, Hay invites us to contemplate the complex between our thoughts, emotions, and the timeless act of forgiveness. Her wisdom illuminates the essence of living in the present moment, unraveling the power held within the choice to forgive oneself and others. As we delve into this discourse, we encounter the liberating force that forgiveness bestows upon the human spirit, unlocking doors to joy, resilience, and the creation of a future untethered from the shackles of the past. Listen carefully through Louise Hay's insights, where forgiveness becomes a gateway to personal empowerment and the embodiment of conscious choice in shaping our destinies. Let's talk about forgiveness. You can never be free of bitterness as long as you continue to think unforgiving thoughts. How can you be happy in this moment if you continue to choose to think angry and resentful thoughts? Thoughts of bitterness cannot create joy. No matter how justified you feel you are, no matter what they did, if you insist on holding on to the past, then you will never be free. Forgiveness of yourself and of others will release you from the prison of the past. When you feel that you are stuck in some situation, or when your affirmations are not working, it usually means there is some more forgiving to be done. When you do not flow freely with life in the present moment, it usually means you are holding on to a past moment. It can be regret, sadness, hurt, fear, or guilt, blame, anger, resentment, and sometimes a desire for revenge. Each one of these states comes from a space of unforgiveness, a refusal to let go and to come into the present moment. Only in the present moment can you create your future. If you are holding on to the past, you cannot be in the present. It is only in this now moment that your thoughts and words are powerful. So you really don't want to waste your current thoughts to continue to create your future from the garbage of the past. When you blame another, you give your own power away because you are placing the responsibility for your feelings on someone else. People in our lives may behave in ways that trigger uncomfortable responses in us, However, they did not get into our minds and create the buttons that have been pushed. Taking responsibility for our own feelings and reactions is mastering our ability to respond. In other words, we learn to consciously choose rather than simply react. Forgiveness is a tricky and confusing concept for many people. There is a difference between forgiveness and acceptance. Forgiving someone does not mean that you condone their behavior. And the act of forgiveness takes place in your own mind. It really has nothing to do with the other person. The reality of true forgiveness lies in setting ourselves free from holding on to the pain. It is simply an act of releasing yourself from the negative energy. Also, forgiveness does not mean allowing the painful behaviors or actions of another to continue in your life. Sometimes forgiveness means letting go. You forgive them and release them. Taking a stand and setting healthy boundaries is often the most loving thing you can do, not only for yourself, but for the other person as well. No matter what your reasons are for having bitter, unforgiving feelings, you can go beyond them. You can get off it, you can let it go. You only live in the now, and you can choose to think thoughts that make you feel good right now. You can choose to practice thinking thoughts that create a positive today and tomorrow. Know that you are creating thinking habits that will serve you well forever.